Hi, I'm Laura Ballotta and I'm a senior lecturer in financial mathematics at CAS Business School in London. And I'm going to introduce you to my five tips to understand counterparty credit risk. Number one, a good understanding of the sources of risk affecting your position. What could drive a future deterioration of the credit quality of the counterparty? Um, what could drive uh, the future movements in the prices of the assets underlying derivative contracts in your portfolio? Understanding the nature of the payoff of these contracts as to understand uh, under um, scenarios of default uh, of the counterparty who owes what. Hence the need of working with modeling experts as to develop ways to make these risks visible, understandable and manageable. Number two, good understanding of the interdependencies in place. We need a good understanding of the interdependencies in place between the credit worthiness of the counterparty and the underlying assets of the uh, derivative contract in your portfolio. These interdependencies can be traced back to a number of factors, for example, uh, macroeconomic factors. But what is crucial as well is a good understanding of all the possible domino effects. For example, if we look into the status of the oil market nowadays, um, the development of US shale resources and the increase in the production and exports of certain countries has meant an increase in the competitive pressure in the market with consequent price drops. This drop has uh, hit very hard those pr uh, producers with very high extraction cost, which in turn uh, meant an increase in the number of non-performing um, corporate loans mainly relative to North, Ameri North American energy books uh, in, of banks uh, and other financial institutions. Number three, develop a good model uh, which can capture the always present turbulences in the market. The fact that market shocks uh, are rare uh, does not justify ignoring them in the development of a sound mathematical model for the quantification and hedging of the risk of your business. At the end of the day, rare events uh, are never rare enough. Number four, good understanding of stressed uh, scenarios. The model needs to be robust under stress uh, scenarios for all the sources of risks and the dependencies affecting your portfolio. The model also has to be able uh, to quantify the impact on your business, as to be able to set out uh, uh, adequate uh, capital requirements and making sure also that you can set up relatively adequate hedging strategies. Number five, continually collect and assess evidence on your portfolio. Regularly investigate emerging evidence and information regarding um, your business and your portfolio as to make sure that all the assumptions on which your model is based are realistic. At the same time, though, do not overreact and make sure that short-term blips do not disproportionately affect long-term assumptions. So these are my five top tips to understand the counterparty credit risk. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting you all at Global Derivatives in Budapest. And for further information, please go to globalderivativelive.com.